Hello, my friends. D.L. Anderson here. Welcome back to Transformation by Truth podcast as we share the truth concerning these last days and what you must do to save yourself from the violent times that are just ahead. Today's podcast is a word of truth accounting of the end times. The end is coming. The end is near. Today's podcast is entitled End Times 313, A Deep Dive into Lawlessness, Part 3, The 25 Degrees of Instability. The podcast objectives are provide a definition for spiritual instability, reveal the end goal for every child of Elohim, and analyze the 25 degrees associated with spiritual instability. This lesson contains timelines and other visuals. Therefore, if you are listening to the podcast, I advise you to watch the video version on our website or YouTube or request a PDF of the lesson so you can add the visual effect. Whence we achieve spiritual balance. Shalom, my beloved brothers and sisters, and welcome to day 26 of our exposition of lawlessness. In the most recent podcast, we executed a deep dive into one of the three primary divisions of lawlessness. Enter spiritual fallibility. If you recall, there are two other divisions of lawlessness. Enter spiritual debility and instability. In this podcast, we will analyze the latter. I will begin by providing a definition for spiritual instability. Spiritual instability is the quality or state of being unstable, the tendency to behave in an unpredictable, changeable, or erratic manner. Uncertainty caused by the possibility of a sudden change in the present situation. By its definition, the problem with spiritual instability should be quite clear. Explicitly, those who are spiritually unstable could never succeed in their execution of the Father's will. Here is why. The Father's will, although it represents a constant within our universe, is revealed to us from day to day. Ergo, we do not always perceive how his will should evolve in our lives. Here lies the inflection and a great challenge as it pertains to executing the Father's will. Vis-a-vis, as his present life is patently unpredictable, the Father's will cannot be wholly predicted. And this is one of the many reasons why the pinnacle of holiness is established upon faith. This speaks to the downfall of spiritual instability. To it, the only hope we have of mastering the Father's will and succeeding every evolution is if we are steady and stable, having achieved a prominent level of spiritual balance. If we are, our execution of the desire of Elohim will not be contingent to our circumstances or any other external conditions. Quite the contrary, whence we achieve spiritual balance, we will be as constant as the Father's will. Notwithstanding, we must first eliminate all the degrees of instability. Like the degrees of fallibility, this will be no small feat. And yet, it is one we can surely succeed. And we will start by analyzing all its degrees. What the finished product looks like. Now, 
As you learned in the most recent podcast, the degrees of fallibility are all color-coded in yellow, and they are situated at the top of the mountain of lawlessness. They begin with ego and continue to alienation. Along these lines, the degrees of instability are all color-coded in light orange, and they are situated at the center of the mountain of lawlessness. They begin with wrath and end with hedonism. And thus, the degrees of instability include wrath, distress, imbalance, disillusionment, discontentment, limitations, and hedonism. These are the degrees of lawlessness that feed into our spiritual instability. And six of these are primary degrees. Now, as you would expect, the same principles governing the degrees of fallibility are applied to the degrees of instability. To wit, the four levels are core diseases and the three intervals are primary symptoms. Along these lines, hedonism is a symptom of limitations. Discontentment is a symptom of disillusionment. Imbalance is a symptom of distress and deception is a symptom of wrath. Now, as it pertains to deception, you can see that it is a force that evolves from our ego and it continues all the way down the mountain of lawlessness. And it concludes with the spiritual stronghold that governs them all. Notwithstanding, because deception does its greatest damage against our knowledge of the Father's will, it is primarily associated with the degrees of spiritual debility. And thus, we will analyze it in greater detail in the next podcast. Now, as for the remaining degrees of instability, it should be clear how these all prevent us from achieving spiritual balance. And in doing so, they further prevent us from being used by Elohim. Here is why. Unlike man, Yahuwah will not use an unstable, unproven resource to carry out his will, which is why his will, in the end and after all, will be done in the earth as it is in the heavens. 2 Timothy 3, 16-17 is revealing. All scripture is breathed out by Elohim and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for setting straight, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of Elohim might be perfect, thoroughly furnished for every good work. Here again, this is the end goal for every child of Elohim. It is what the finished product looks like vis-a-vis -vis the spiritual image and likeness of Yahushua Messiah, the perfect man. Remember that as we go through these lessons on lawlessness, for we will never be saved if we fail to complete the work before us and we become a finished product in the spirit. 25 Degrees of Instability Now, whereas 22 of the 80 degrees of lawlessness are degrees of fallibility, 25 are degrees of instability. Here again, six of these are primary degrees. They are hedonism, limitations, discontentment, disillusionment, imbalance, and distress. From now, we should begin analyzing the 19 secondary degrees of instability. We will begin with hedonism and conclude with wrath. As you can see by the list to the right, hedonism, i.e. one of the primary degrees of lawlessness, is supported by extremism, 
greed, and iniquity. These three degrees constitute the spiritual disease of hedonism, more commonly known as lust. Therefore, the only way we can eliminate the spiritual disease of hedonism is by first eliminating the spiritual viruses of extremism, greed, and iniquity. Here again, these three degrees are the source of the spiritual disease of hedonism. The same rule is applied to limitations and its secondary degrees, vis-a-vis -vis, to eliminate all your physical and spiritual limitations. You must first eliminate procrastination, idleness, and abdication in that order. Likewise, to eliminate discontentment, you must first eliminate agitation, impatience, and discouragement, again, in that order. Then again, to eliminate disillusionment, you must first eliminate displeasure, division, and distractions. To eliminate imbalance, you must first eliminate anxiety, disturbance, and control. To eliminate distress, you must first eliminate depression, disappointment, and disorder. Last but not least, to eliminate wrath, which is a degree of instability, you must first eliminate all the other degrees of instability. Along these lines, the degrees of ego, vanity, wrath, and rebellion are unique to the other degrees of lawlessness due to their classification as super diseases. However, for the sake of understanding the hierarchy of lawlessness, we will consider these degrees in the same model as all the other degrees of lawlessness. And here is a table of the 25 degrees of instability for your review. Now, here is the final word. Yahuwah has raised us in the earth to be thoroughly furnished unto every good work. Some within the extended nation of Israel may not appreciate the value of the complete work in the spirit. And this is largely because they fail to look at their lives from Yahuwah's perspective. My dear friends, you must believe me. His perspective is the only perspective that matters. And thus, I pray this prayer of perseverance such that we complete the work before us and live our lives in adherence. If rough and thorny be the way, my strength proportion to my day, till toil and grief and pain shall cease, where all is calm in joy and peace. Now, here is today's assignment. Meditate on all the lessons you have heard this week and ask the Father to give you clarity on anything you are struggling to receive. And if you are led, please feel free to reach out to me. You can fill out a form on our website and let us know what questions you have. And remember, the only question that can truly hurt you is the one you fail to ask. Last but not least, enjoy the upcoming Shabbat and the weekend, and be ready to get back at it next week as we continue to make our calling and election sure in pursuit of the precious and priceless seal of Elohim. Now, here is what's next. We completed today's podcast in Times 3.13. A Deep Dive into Lawlessness, Part 3. And the next podcast is entitled, End Times 314, A Deep Dive into Lawlessness, Part 4. I will post this podcast 
on Monday, July 29th, 2024. Until then, my friends, continue to be led by the spirit of Elohim. Continue to watch. Continue to pray. Continue in fasting. And most of all, continue to be focused. For the end is coming. The end is near. <laughs>